Okay, now we're doing the same thing factoring. Okay, Tomo this is of notes video tomorrow. I know it's right before break, but you have some problems to do on your own. If you understand it, you will skip my video. Okay, simple as that. Well, what's first thing? Well, I need that and then ABC. Then I make my multiplication and I make a table. I will be taking 1 times 18. 18. 18 is positive. Okay? So when it's positive, we're adding. We're trying to add to the B, which is 11, and 11 is positive. Swing your division. So 1. 1 and 18. There's one thing I do want a lot of you, you to change on the uh, to how I've been doing it now that more, a lot of people have caught on. 18 plus 1 is not 11. That's 19. 2. Okay. 9 plus 2 is 11. So we have 11. Plus 11. So plus on the 9. And if it's a positive, they're the same. Okay? So plus and plus. 1x, 1x, as long as there's a 1 there, which there is, plus 2, plus 9. Remember the way to check. You can add 2 and 9, it should be B. You can multiply positive 2, positive 9, it should be the C. Okay? A, B, C. Make your table. Positive 1 times positive 6 is positive 6. So it's 6 positive. Okay? So positive means you're going to add. And you are trying to add to 5. Remember, you're adding. Divided by. Okay? So anything divides by 1. 6. 6 add 1. If I add 1 to 6, is that 5? No. Now, the next number would be 2. I want you to hold off before you write the number down, because I a lot of times, so if it's a decimal, we're going to skip it. Okay, 2 and 3. So 2 is the next number, and I got an answer for 3. Okay, 3 plus 2 is 5. It's easy. Oh, sorry, I forgot to sign my 5. 5 is plus, so plus. So you're going to have plus 3 for sure. That's another positive, so they are going to be the same. So plus 2. So 1x, 1x, plus 2, plus 3. Okay, my next problem. A, B, and C. Draw that connection so you know, because otherwise you get your chart, you're like, well, what do I do? Well, you times. You take positive 1 times positive 11. That's 11. 11 is positive. I got another add. Okay. And the add needs to equal 12, and know that 12 is negative. Okay, so I divide by... 1. Anything will divide by 1. It'll just be itself. Okay, if I take 11 and add 1, that's 12. So we have it. Now my 12 is negative, so 11 is negative. Larger number. Now we have a positive, so the signs are again the same. So if that's negative, what's the same as a negative? Well, another negative. Okay, so this can be 1x, 1x, minus 1, minus 11. Okay, next one, A, B, C. Anytime you see three terms that need to be factored into two parentheses, that's how what you're going to do. Okay, positive 1 times negative 72. I got 72. But this time it's negative, so I'm not going to add. I'm going to minus. And the minus has to equal 1. Okay? And know that 1 is negative. So 
So I put 1. That's 72. So I take 72 minus 1. That's not 1. Okay. Now, this is going to be a long list. So I'm going to next after 1 comes 2. So just imagine a 2 there. 72 divided by 2. I didn't get a decimal, so I can put 2 in the answer. Now minus it, 36 minus 2 is 34. I did not get 1. Now just imagine a 3 there. 72 divided by 3, 24. So I'm going to write 3 down and then 24, the answer I got. Okay, 24 minus 3, um, not 1, it's 21. Now imagine a 4 there, 72 divided by 4. Okay, so I'm going to write, I didn't get a decimal, so I write 4 down and then the 18. Okay, 18 minus 4 is, I don't have a 14. Okay, imagine a 5 there. You divide 72 by 5. I got a decimal, so I don't write 5. Now imagine a 6 there. Okay, I did not get a decimal, so I write 6 down and then 12. Now take 12 minus 6, Got a, didn't get 6. Now imagine a 7 there. I got a decimal, so I'm not even going to write 7 down. Now imagine 8 there. Okay, so 8, 9. Okay, 9 minus 8 is 1. Found it, finally. Some take longer than others. So the one's negative, so negative 9. And you have a negative up here. Now that means the signs are the opposite. So the opposite of negative is positive. So I make two parentheses, and then 1x, 1x, and then plus 8, and minus 9. Once again, if you add 8 to negative 9, you get negative 1. If you take 8 times negative 9, you get negative 72. Okay, next problem. Chart A, B, C. So again, positive 1 times negative 45 is negative 45. So I got 45 negative. So that is going to be another minus, another problem where I'm going to minus. And I get 4. Any, again, it's negative. Anytime it's negative, we minus. Anytime that's positive up there, you plus. Okay, and you're trying to get 4. And know that 4 is negative. 1. Okay, you know, I write 1 down because anything divides by 1. 45 divided by 1 is 45. 45 minus 1 is not 4. Now imagine a 2 there. I, if I wrote a 2, I'd take 45, but that's a decimal, so I'm not even going to write 2 down. Now imagine a 3 there. 45 divided by 3. Okay, I did not get a decimal, so I put 3 and 15. 15 minus 3 is, oh, I don't have a 12 there. If I did, I'd be done. Now imagine a 4 there. Okay, that does not, that's a decimal. Now imagine if I put a 5 there, I'd take 45 divided by 5. 5, 9. See, I don't have to write as much crap down. Minus 9 minus 5 is 4. Nice, okay. Now the 4 is negative, so negative out of here. And we have a negative up there, so the signs have to be the opposite, okay negative and positive. Again, I know there's a lot of piddly crap you have to worry about. So 1x, 1x, and then plus 5 and minus 9. Okay, I'll check some of them randomly just to make sure I'm doing it. Got the right idea. Like this one, I'll add 5 to negative 9. That's the middle. Then I'll take 5 times negative 9, and that's the end. Good. Okay, so A, B, C.
So I take positive 1 times positive 15. That's 15, and it's positive, so we're back to an add problem because that's positive. So we got 8, and 8's a negative. Okay. So I swing my division and put 1. 15 divided by 1 is 15. Okay, so then I take 15 plus 1. That's I don't have 16 there. That ain't it. Okay, now imagine if a 2 is there. We take 15 divided by 2. 7.5, so I don't want to write 2. Now imagine a 3 there. Okay, I got 5, so I can write 3 down. And then the answer I got. Okay, and 5 plus 3, I think that's 8. Got it. 8's negative. What's that mean? It means your 5's negative. And um, this was in a positive, okay? So the signs have to be the same. So what's the same as a negative? We'll probably another negative. So 1x, 1x, and then minus 3 and minus 5. Okay, next problem. Okay, so I take positive 1 times positive 27. 27, 27 is positive. So it's positive, so it'll be an add problem. We're going to try to add to 12. Okay. And 12 is positive. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay, so divided by, start that with 1, you get 27. 27 plus 1 is 28. I don't have 28 over there. Okay, now imagine writing a 2 down. We take 27 divided by 2, but that's a decimal. Now imagine me writing a 3 under there. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So I write 3 down, and then the answer I got. Okay, let's take 9 plus 3. I think that's 12. Nice. 12 is positive, so 9 is positive. Take it to the bank. We have a positive, so the signs have to be the same. Okay, so 1x, 1x, and then plus 3, plus 9. Positive 1 times negative 100. It's 100, and that's negative. So since that's a negative, we're going to minus 21. 21 is positive. Okay. 1 and 100. 100 take a what? Minus 1 is 99. I don't have 99. Now imagine me putting a 2 there. Because I don't want a bunch of numbers that don't work. That clutters up the chart. Okay, so 2. And then my answer was 50. Now I add these two. 50 minus 2, 48. I don't have 48. Now imagine me putting a 3 there. Okay, nope. Now imagine putting a 4 there, 100 divided by 4. Okay, so I put 4 down, 25. Okay, let's take 25 minus 4, see what happens. Yep, 21, nice. Okay, so I got them. Now, 24 is a positive, so positive on 25. And we have a negative here, so the signs have to be opposite, okay? So what's the opposite of positive? Negative. 1x, 1x, and then minus 4, 
and plus 25. Okay. Wow, this next one's not going to take long at all. Okay, that was a one there. Sorry, I, the A, B, C is all the stupid stapler. Okay. So positive one times positive two, which is positive two. So we're adding. We're trying to add to equal three, and three is positive. Swing that division. You get one. 2 divided by 1 is 2. I think if you add 2 to 1, uh, two, if I have 2 and I add 1, I'm pretty sure that's 3. So I guess we, that didn't take long. Okay, so we got plus 3. So we're going to have plus 2 for sure. That, always, that over there always tells me what sign the larger number is. And we have positive, so the signs are the same if it's positive. It is. Okay. So 1x, 1x, and then plus 1 and plus 2. All right, next problem ain't going to take long either, okay? A, B, C. This time I'll be taking 1 and multiplying by negative 2, and that's negative 2. So I will minus this time because it's negative, and that minus seems to equal 1. Well, it's 1 and 2. Well, 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so we have it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to sign the 1. The 1 is negative, so negative. So that means my 2 is negative. We have a negative here, so that means we have opposite signs. Plus. So 1x, 1x, plus 2, plus 1, minus 2. Okay, next one. One times negative six. Six and it's negative. What's negative mean? Minus. Minus needs to equal one. And one is positive. That comes in when I find the two numbers though. The positive does. Okay, divided by. So one. Six divided by one is six. Uh, six minus one. Um, 6 minus 1 is not 1. It's got to be 1. Now imagine putting a 2 down. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I'm going to write 2 down with its answer on the other side, 3. Okay, I think uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so 1 is positive. So 3 is positive. We have a negative, so they're opposite. So we have 1x, 1x, and then minus 2 and plus 3. I'm going to check my answer on this one just to make sure I've got the right idea. So I add negative 2 plus 3, and that's 1. Okay. And then I take negative 2 times 3. It's negative 6. Okay, moving right along. A, B, C. Okay. 1 times negative 12. Negative 12. So this will be a minus, and I'm trying to minus to 1, and 1 is positive. So 12 divided by 1 is 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. I need 1, not 11. 
Now imagine me writing a 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. It's like, divide a number by 2, it's like you're cutting it in half, halving it. Okay, and that's 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. We don't have 4 over there. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay. 4 minus 3 is 1. Got it. Okay. Okay, now we have plus 1. That means plus 4. This is a negative. The signs will be opposite then, not the same. So the opposite of plus would be negative. So we're going to have 1x, 1x, and then 3 and 4. Minus and plus. Okay, next one. Positive 1 times negative 35 is 35, and it's negative, okay? So that will be a minus problem, trying to come up with 2, and 2 is negative. So 1, 35 divided by 1, no go. Well, yeah, it goes, but 35 minus 1 is not 2. Now, a problem like this is why I don't want to clutter up the chart. Imagine me putting a 2 there. 35 by 2, that's a decimal. Now, imagine putting a 3 there. We divide, swing your division, okay. 35 by 3, decimal. Now, imagine putting a 4 there, decimal. Now, imagine putting a 5 there. Okay, I got 7, so I'm going to put a 5 there, and then I'm going to put the answer I got, 7. Okay, 7 minus 5 is 2, so we have it. So we have negative here, so we're going to have negative on 7. We have a negative up here in the bubble, so that's again opposite. x, 1x, plus 5, minus 7. Okay, my next problem. A, B, C. So I'm going to take positive 1 times negative 8. It's negative 8. So it's going to be a minus problem, and our minus is going to equal 7. So 1, 8 divided by 1 is 8. Okay. Let's take 8 minus 1. I believe that's 7 already. Got it. Okay. So, oh, I forgot to put a sign there. 7's plus, so plus, so plus. Cross that out, and we have a negative there, so the signs are opposite. Okay, so negative here. Then minus one plus eight. Okay, so again, I connect, oops, I should connect that first. Positive 1 times positive 36 is 36 positive. So I got a positive, that means we're adding. We're trying to add to 15 and know that 15 is negative because you see that sign there. Okay, 36 divided by 1 is 36. 36 plus 1 is uh, not 15. Okay. Oops, I shouldn't have put the 2 down. My bad. I should divide by 2 first. Third, imagine a 2. 18. So I'll put 2 down. And 18. 18 plus 2 is 20, though. 
so you look here. Okay, now imagine putting a 3 down. You divide 36 by 3, and that's 12. So I'm going to write 3 down, and then the answer I got. Okay, 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 is negative, so 12 is negative. We have a positive right there, so that is going to be the same. Okay, so what's the same as a negative? Well, probably another negative. So 1x, 1x, 3 and 12. And they would both be minuses. 3, 12, minus, minus. All right, last one. This is going to be the last long one pack of these that's mandatory. The next packet I give is going to be you can work ahead if you feel confident. Okay, I'm going to take positive 1 times negative 40. That's negative 40. If you take a number times 1, it's just itself. Okay. Got a negative that's going to be mean a minus, and then 3 positive. So we start dividing. 1, four, that's 40. 40 minus 1 ain't 3, though. Imagine me putting a 2 down. Let's divide 40 in half. I believe it's 20. 20 minus 2 is uh, not 3. Imagine writing a 3 down and dividing 40 by 3, but that's a decimal. So we're going to imagine writing a 4 down, 40 by 4. I got 10. So I'm going to write 4 down for sure and put the 10. Okay. Uh, 10 plus 4 is 14. We need 3. Or t sorry, I'm not adding. I'm minusing. See how easy that is? I'm spacing out. That's 6. Close, but not quite. Imagine writing a 5 down. 40 divided by 5. 5, 8. Okay. Oops, sorry. Got slack in here. 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, we got that. That's because we have 3 over there. Now 3 is plus, so 8 plus. We have a negative, so the signs are opposite. So negative. So 1x, 1x, and then minus 5 plus 